Well, guys, I officially have a brand new VHS, unexpected VHS, and video game update for January 6, 2024. Happy New Year, everybody. My very first video of 2024 is here, so let's get started. I got four VHS tapes. I unexpectedly, because I, we went to the um, video game exchange place on Atwood Street, Madison, and I, we were, we were going to return a game that... Uh, that I got for Christmas, um, for this year, and I already have, I'll tell you what game that I, that I got, I was actually, I already have, it's ATV Quad Power Racing 2 for the, for the, the, the blah, Nintendo GameCube that I got all the way back on February 11th, 2017, and, uh, when we took the game back, I saw, like, a huge wall full of VHS tapes, like, a huge wall full of them, and, uh, I picked out four that I didn't have, and, uh, I got three Paramounts and one Cheesy Shield. And plus free bonus tapes that I ordered off of eBay. All three of those are paramount as well. And I'll show you. And I have a recordable tape in the in the second stack. And I'll show you why I have that recordable tape. I didn't get it, but I'll get, here's a little spoiler alert. It has a little spoil spoiler alert, guys. It actually has it has actually has the movie on the tape. But I'll show you why it has what kind of tape master it has. So. Without further ado, let's well, not waste any more time. Let's get started. Start for the video game I got. Cyber Tiger. This one. Of, this is like Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2003, 2004. It costs like cash price thirteen eighty five plus tax and register, register price is fourteen dollars ninety nine cents. Take a look at this blockbuster video for a month. Did not expect it to, as we were. I did not see that until we were actually riding it. I'm on our way to, uh, um, where do we, on our way to the, um, World Buffet place in the, in the mall on the way we got something to eat. Took the shrink wrap out and here's a cartridge. Ready for everyone, 1999. Yeah. Since my dad likes Tiger Woods, I decided to get this game to see how he would like it. Now on to the four tapes. First I got the two Jakes with Jack Nicholson. This cost only 99 cents, a dollar. Oh, I, oh, I shouldn't show that, but I'll just say that it's from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I don't want to cover, I want to cover up the ads. I don't, I don't want that guy. I don't want that person to get hunted down. You guys ready? Tyler has this tape, and now I have it too. You ready? Green reels and lid. Just like E.T., I now have it too. It's not rewound. It's like 20, 15 minutes of phone strip left. And label. Mowing Sound Barco, the seventh week of 1991. I'm going to have to pop these tapes in. I checked all the phone strips, and they're fine, but... The last one is actually, I thought, originally thought it was sealed, but uh, as an unopened, but it's actually resealed. And I'll show you, I'll explain why. Body Heat, the only reason I got this tape, number one, sidebar code, Cheesy Shield on top. My first tape with a larger Cheesy Shield on Another spoiler alert, I have another tape coming in the mail. It's the 1986 VHS of The Shining. I'll be receiving that tape about January 16th, but I know it's going to be coming a day or two early. Ready, guys? My first tape like this. My first cheesy shield tape with this, or with the earlier um font that they used back in the 80s for the big W tapes. Now, guys, I did check underneath the end label, and uh, the print date is November 6th, 1989, and I can kind of see it. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I can see it much better in person. It's T115 MR, October 24th, 1989A. It's end label. Stock number 2000, 20,005. Or home video. So this is from November 1989. I expected this tape to be from 1988 or 1987, but since that's from that, from that time, Frame. This tape, I doubt this tape will have the little tone black screen. I'm still going to keep it, though. I'm just going to check anyways. 
true believer with James Woods and Robert Downey Jr. The only reason I got this tape, yep, RCA Columbia, another RCA tape I found. And side barcode too. Got this for two dollars. So it's a sticker on the back. Again, just like pump, pump with the volume, when I tried to check the film strip, the lid would not open, but, and I took out that side, that black sticker that was sitting on the lid. It's pulled all the way back to the clear leader. I checked it, and it's fine. Let's make sure it didn't snap. It has a print date on the, above the recording tab in Burgundy, Inc., saying June 26, 1990. I'll try to turn on the, my phone. Flashlight, so you can see. Yeah, T112, June 29th, 1989, and the 27th week in 1989. Look at the barcode. I could tell this is going to have the white skirt depth at the end, for sure. But here, I mean, I have a really strange close, a really, really, really strange closing. If it does, I will show you guys. Also, oh, it says the number 21 on the top there, as you can see in the light. I have to check these tapes out when I'm done. Whoops. Backwards. The last tape I got is got resealed. Star Trek V The Final Frontier. Well, how it's resealed, because look, it has a foreign rental sticker on the bottom. It says the warehouse, <laughs> as in where, not W A R A E. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to unseal this and I'll. Resume when I'm done sealing. Okay, I unsealed it. And no copyright, no copyright infringement time for the music you're hearing in the background. If you wonder what that music is, mom's uh, making a uh, stew for tomorrow for dinner. And she's listening to Pandora, so no copyright infringement time for that music. I'll turn on the fan right now. Do not, do not take this video down. I'm going to turn on the fan to drown out the noise. I'm going to turn on free all the way up. There, we are now safe. We're not going to get any strikes now unless we do at the beginning of the video. Hope they don't claim it. Oh, crap. Oh, shrink, crap. Everything's going to be blowing everywhere. Put it underneath my TV. Take it out to the trash later. Here's a tape. The sticker's been ripped. Here's another sticker. It says 35, 90, 13, 13, 57. Again, mowing sound barcode. The it's hard to read the week and year code on this tape. I think that says. The 40 or 46th week of 1989. The nine looks like a one for a second. Check the phone strip. It looks looks pretty fine, but oops, oops. What's going on here? This tape gonna work. I hope it's gonna work. The reels are a little out of sync. The reels are a little messed up, but I'll try to fix it later. Hope it works, my player. Now on to the free bonus tapes I got from eBay. First one came on came on uh, Thursday afternoon after school. The rest came on, the last two came on Friday. Necessary Roughness Night 2 VHS. Falling around the phone, cash, cash wise foods video. Be kind, please rewind and label. The 14th week in the night, too. This used to have the mowing sound barcode on it, but the stickiness got so dry it came off in the past. Same with this next one. Well, it was on initially, but I ended up taking it off because it was getting loose. Frankie and Johnny. 
Oh, now Sarah Rumpus, I thought that was the one tape that I remember. I'll tell you the story when I was little. Yeah. Sorry about that, my dad came in. He got out of the shower, but Frankie and Johnny, I thought Necessary Roughness, this tape was copied onto a uh, blank recordable tape, but I told my mom about it. She said she never ever did that with her VHS movies. Never. So it must have been Josh at the old, my Uncle Josh, aka my mom's uh, brother at the old uh, farmhouse. That he might have had those movies. I'm going to ask him one day. Anyways, here's Frankie and Johnny. Please rewind tape and label. Like I said, the Morning Stone Barcode used to be on there, but it came off. Week after necessary reference, the 15th week in 1992. This goes well over 15 minutes. I will splice it into two parts for uploading it. Now, here's this bonus, bonus tape. Now, I recently... I'll show you the... I recently checked this tape out for the first time ever. And, uh... And, um... It does have the movie's maximum overdrive in the lawnmower, man. It does have maximum overdrive to start with, but it has a tape master from the 1986 Kari Malormar home video VHS, believe it or not. Josh might have had that tape once, but got rid of it when he moved out of the old firm house in 2014 when they took it down the next year. It has a lawnmower, man. I checked it. Did not have lawnmower, man, but guess what it has? I'll show you guys right now. Plug my phone. My phone's charging. Sorry, why not show this right now? I'm gonna put this in. Oh god! Do not jam. Now watch. Watch this. So again, that's the end previous. Now watch what happens. Get my remote. Damn it, I pressed. God damn it, I pressed fast forward. Sorry about that. Spoiled it. Whatever. You guys just saw the parallel coming attack with bumper. Watch what happens. Yep. It has the actual tape master for Tales from the Dark Side. Turn down the volume. No cover for Joe Tender, not take this video down. It has the previews for Crash and Burn and Red Blood American Girl. There's a feature presentation. Yeah. This tape, I'll tell you when this was, 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 when, what year this was recorded because I played it in one of my hi-fi VCRs down there and it actually said mono only so this was probably done in the 90s show you proof of the title of the movie no cover for your intended again please do not flag this this is fair use Tales from the Dark Side of the movie I'm getting it out now before I get matched get mailed so yeah this actually has the tape master from this tape on it. Again, Mom never had this movie, but I decided to get it. Why not just get it anyways? This actually didn't come in one of those eBay little white white things that they usually put tapes and they came in like a little box because they were probably out of the stuff and uh... Sticker label. And label it, it, this tape was, record, was recorded on Scotch Team 100. This, this tape has no barcode whatsoever. The 37th week of 1990, and I checked the clothes on this tape. It has the, it does have the white screen of depth, surprisingly, and it has like over five and a half minutes of black, a blank film like static at the end. Cool as that. So yeah, that's my update. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Got new tapes today. Hope to get. Oh, stay tuned for my next surprise video, which will be the Shine 1986 VHS coming on the 16th. 
See you guys in the next video and take care. Bye.